how's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw an Among Us uh, demon, uh, mostly for Halloween. So it's going to be simple, easy for beginners. Uh, I'm going to be using this uh, Krilla brand marker and regular printing paper. Uh, you can use a pencil if you'd like. Um, and that's it. Uh, if you like drawing, if you like being able to draw stuff from your mind, like some of your favorite characters, from movies or video games, I'm going to be posting videos all the time on here. So if you do enjoy that stuff, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification right now. And then you're just going to get streams of that stuff on and off when I post. Um, it's going to show you a little icon on your feed and you'll be like, okay, cool. I'll draw that, you know. So do that right now. And let's get started, okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a curve line right here for the front of the visor curve to the top over here of that visor also don't hey how's it going today we're gonna go over how to draw the head of the baryonyx he's gonna be kind of roaring uh, not roaring too wide because baryonyx is a very flat head um, he's gonna be from uh, Jurassic uh, Jurassic World by the way Lost Kingdom uh, it's the scene where he's in the lava. Really, really amazing dinosaur. Um, I'm going to be doing this step by step, and it's going to be kind of a headshot. Um, and that's all you need to know. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's get started. I'm going to turn my paper different length over here just so we kind of get it uh, get it even there. If you like drawing dinosaurs and uh, you like learning to draw your favorite characters from movies, from TV, uh, and you want to have that committed to your memory, um, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. When you do that, it's going to let you know when, you know, I post in the feed. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and press the like button if you like dinosaurs as far as that goes, so I can draw a lot more of them. All right. So Baryonyx has a pretty long head, um, not quite as long as the Spinosaurus, but it's pretty long. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to start out with a pencil and I'm going to draw a line over here and then I'm going to erase it. So I'm going to draw the length. I don't know if you can see that or not. You might not be able to, but don't worry, it's going to be real fast. And I'm drawing more or less a box, like two boxes stacked on each other. And I just want some vague boxes to put essentially detail on. It's got the back of the head here and it's going to roll down. And then underneath here, it's going to have the neck. Really, really simple. Um, and I'm going to put like a circle here for the eye area. And that's kind of it for the most part. So let's draw the Baryonyx. Hopefully you can see that. It's just two boxes, a dot. Kind of looks like a Muppet right now, <laughs> which is funny. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna use a different marker. This marker is kind of uh, like kind of dying on me. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw the eye. And it has this kind of like peanut shape to it. It's really very similar to the uh, human eye. I don't remember if he has a slit pupil in here because I know that dinosaurs big are not supposed to have slit pupils. But we'll do like a medium kind of thing going on. The reason they're not supposed to have slit pupils is because slit pupils are mostly, almost entirely, in, in, in animals low to the ground. Like snakes, cats, stuff like that. Um, in large animals, it's I believe it's not present at all. Or maybe exception of one or two, if none. So I'm going to put that down there, and I'm going to draw a line in here for kind of the fold in the snout here. But I'm going to start out with the general the shape of the snout. So I'm going to go over here. Don't know why this one's dying on me as well. I need some new markers. But anyways, donate. You can donate. There's a link down below. Uh, and I use everything on supplies and editing and everything like that. I'm going to pull a bump here, pull out line up cross down up over here down 
over here. That's gonna be the, the brow, right? There's always that brow. Why do you have that brow? Humans have that brow too. That brow is to protect your eye, you know, from rain. It's something, you know, every, pretty much, you know, every land animal, right, uh, evolved. Where it's protect you from rain for, uh, you know, it doesn't hit your eyeball. Your eyeball's not just dangling out there. It's encased in this socket, right? And that's kind of how evolution, uh, you know, that's kind of what happened, essentially, how it evolved. All right. Going to go over here, throw an eyelid on him, and then go over here, throw like a bottom of the eye. Going to continue back here along the head, down, curve, and I'm going to throw some bumps here because there are ridges, but nothing too wild. Going down, curve, down over here, let me curve over here, in. Out over here and right here we're gonna draw it's gonna be kind of the, this basically where the ear is located kind of behind uh, that fold there we're gonna go over here and pull the curved side of the uh, like I always say there's a skin when the dinosaurs open their mouth uh, or when lizards essentially open their mouth right um, there's a skin right there a skin flap inside makes it look pretty wild I don't remember what it's called though. I've heard the name of it. And I think there's only a scientific name for it. Um, really cool looking though. It makes everything look awesome. Gonna draw maybe some spikes in the back in the shadow. And well, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is draw the bottom lip. Going in here, up, in. Curve for the front. Kind of a, go the nostril over here. It looks more or less like a comma. We're here, back of the jaw, up. Pull down for the neck. There's going to be a little bit of dangling in the neck. At least sometimes they don't have that, but I like that. I think that looks great. I think it makes it look more real. All right, doing pretty good, right? You guys are doing good. So now let's put in the teeth, and the teeth are thin triangles. Right, and we're just going to try to vary up the size a little bit. Go over here as well. Um, line over here for the folds on the neck. Kind of throw some folds on there. And now it's open rain for details, okay? Uh, hopefully you stay till the end of this video, by the way. I didn't mention that in the beginning. Let's throw that eye there. Uh, really quick, I'm gonna erase some of the lines underneath. I mean, you, it's kinda hard to even see them anyway, but I'm gonna do it. Sorry if it's shaking the camera or anything like that. Like I said, let me know if there's any dinosaurs you want me to draw. There's a list I have of them. I'm going to be mostly drawing them in, in portrait style first, like their heads zoomed in, but I'm going to go into drawing their whole body in a more realistic way soon. Uh, so stick around for that. I am moving my paper everywhere. Hold on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. I'm moving my paper all over the place. All right. That's enough. Uh, right over here for counter shading, right? There's a discoloration there. <laughs> I'm going to fill in the back here the, with darkness so that it comes off like, you know, the inside of the mouth. Going to draw a line over here, splitting the tongue and then putting a little darkness here in the back as well. A little darkness on this side. Filling 
that in. And now let's draw some details, right? We're drawing thinner lines, just kind of uh, around. Uh, so if you want to make something look like, let's say, scales, you can do this, kind of like these little tiny U's, unfinished U's all over the place. <clears throat> and uh, you can just kind of put them all over. But not like everywhere, everywhere, but just put them like plenty around because you're trying to create a texture. We can do what I always do here, draw. Oh, wow, this marker is really dying. I'm going to throw that one away. Throw a line under here. This one's also not going so great. <laughs> this marker. Um, there we go. To form like a shadow underneath the neck. I don't know why so many of my markers are not going well. Like I said, if you want to donate, link, uh, well not link, but uh, my PayPal's in the description there. I, I'm running out of supplies here. Okay, this marker's good. And I'm throwing these thin lines. Just thin, they have to be thin because then that's when they come off as detail. If they're not thin, they're just really gonna break the drawing down and it's really not gonna be any good, honestly. Um, I want to make this guy look a little angrier, so I'm going to put a little bit more of a furrowed in the eyebrows here. <laughs> uh, going over here, just more or less now, I'm just drawing these little nick marks. And there's a lot of creativity in this section, too, because you can more or less just kind of, like, like his neck is round, right? like it's cylindrical around like a like you know dog collar kind of thing and you can throw these little nick marks to make his skin look more like reptile skin you know real thin but always doing that direction though right you're following the form and that's what makes it look a little more rustic a little more you know real right you're drawing these little nick marks all over the place and you don't have to do this, by the way, but I recommend it because it makes your dinosaur look uh, more lived, right? More like, you know, so they have reptile skin, so they're going to... They, I think they were giant reptiles, right? Um, I, I know now their descendants are birds, right? I think I hear that, that the natural descendants of dinosaurs are birds. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we just do these little nick marks, and you can do them as much as you want. Um, I like them a lot. I do them all over the place usually, but I don't do it so much that, like I said, eventually the drawing will break down. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, I'm throwing these little nick marks here as I'm talking to you. Let me know what you think, by the way. I'd love to hear your thoughts on maybe what other dinosaurs you want to see. I know somebody requested a few. I got to go back and look up which one of those and I'll do videos on them, okay? Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Uh, absolutely reach out to me in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, share the video with someone that you think might enjoy it, like maybe a dinosaur group on Facebook or uh, anything of that sort. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it right there. Uh, thank you so much. And when you draw, I want you to keep it easy, okay? Keep the drawing easy. See you later.